morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. Didn't have much of a turkey hunt this morning, but I didn't really stay long. Had them two hens come up, that's about it. I ain't heard a turkey gobble this morning. Anyway, just not a whole lot of turkeys there at the house anymore like it used to be. But anyway, I didn't stay long. I was fooling with my boat a little bit yesterday evening. I kind of had on my mind going to the river this morning. And I got it hooked behind the little Nissan Frontier. Oh. I went to turn the key on yesterday, see how much gas was in it, and nothing happened. And I fooled with it a little bit there for a little while, and I ain't figured it out. All my lights is working, pumps is working. I don't know what's done gone wrong. So that was one reason I didn't stay long this morning. I hooked it up real quick, and I'm headed to the boat gallery over here to see if they got time to look at it and say, I think it's going to be something simple. I just ain't found it. I, I don't know. I hope I ain't done nothing when I was wiring the lights and all that stuff. I don't know, but that is where I'm headed to see if we can get this thing figured out. I'm ready to get back in the water. Alright, y'all. So, I went to the boat gallery. I'm going to tell you, them are some super folks over there. Man, they are just so good to deal with, so helpful. They know I'm slow on these boats and learning. Oh, they just helpful. But I knew it was probably gonna be something I did and something simple. I've never been in a boat motor. Kind of took the cover off yesterday. It kind of looked, and I said, Ah, I'm just gonna run it over there tomorrow. Ended up just being a fuse. Anyway, I probably touched a wire or something or when I was doing all that grinding putting our switches and our charging 12 volt deal in and all I'm sure I did it but anyway they was real helpful went right to it I knew it had to be something simple because I had powered everything but the motor wouldn't trim or nothing but we got it so headed back to the house all right y'all so I made it back and then I went back to the boat gallery I know we got the little aluminum boat that Rick custom built us and I never used it and I never had a trailer for it. Been wanting one for a while. So we fixed that today. Got us a little trailer. I believe this thing is about 16 foot long. Let's see. What is that? 13 could just about put a, I guess you could put a 16 foot boat on it, but anyway, our boat is, I believe it's four foot on the bottom, let's see what we got here, did I say four foot, I told him four foot, I gotta check this y'all, I may have picked up the wrong trailer, let's see real quick. Alright, so I've done some measuring. I am going to be, I really needed one just a little bit wider, but I think what I'm going to do, I just about need this space here. So, them things are just kind of screwed on. I may take the fenders off of it. I need just about an inch on both sides, and I may end up having to make me some fenders. Not really worried about the fenders that much, but I know for sure I got to slide the stop up with the winch on back because mine's ten and a half, and I think it's set up for quite a bit longer. So I'm gonna have to pick this thing up. Probably I might can pick it up by hand with it on them blocks and the motor on the back and get it on here. I'm gonna probably go ahead and take the fenders off now. I just made that old flimsy plastic anyway. We're going to make this thing work. Let me get some tools out. Alright, I had two rivets up under there I had to drill and these are just little little pad self-tapper. Bad when you bring something home and start tearing it apart. Don't want to come out.
gonna be tight on there. Tight, tight, tight. May end up, may end up back over there. May have to get another one. I don't think there's many John boats that's as wide as this one we got. We'll make it work somehow or another. Alright, I'm gonna loosen this up and a little bit and slide it back. I hope it's that easy. Oh, yeah. oh, slide. What do you think? Trying to move. Loosen them up just a little bit more and see if I get a little easier. on this a minute and see if that's where I want it. I think we're going to be close right there. Alright, I think for now I like where I'm at right there. Always adjust it if we need to. Figure out if I can set it up on the trailer. Alright, this is going to be a little tricky. I got it backed up under it. Now I'm going to have to pick it up, take these blocks off, and try to slide up under it without knocking it off the back blocks. Alright, got the other side out from under it. Got a board right there a minute ago. Now I've got to see if I can. kind of ease back under it without knocking it off my back blocks back here. Alright, so I felt like I was fixing to knock it off these blocks. So, I wonder if I could slide this thing. I wonder if I could slide it with the motor on it. Can't stop. Go and move the camera. Can't stop. About to fall. About to fall off the trailer. 
She's about to fall off. I got to get it slid around. All right, let's see if we can jump on the tire on that side. I kind of wish she'll balance now. I ain't going to fall off, I think. This will be the last time we got a load like this. Oh, she's tight in there. I mean, tight, tight, tight. It'll be tricky loading this little joker. But it's light enough to move. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hook that winch to it. Ain't no need in. Breaking her back, ain't that cute? Y'all, I don't see no way that me and Cody ain't gonna have to try this out today. It's tight. I'll have to make sure I strap her down where she don't move. It's gonna be tight on them tires. This probably ain't gonna be traveling too far. It looks pretty good though, don't it? I think I could come back some more. I really got her up too far. I think I could back it on up some more. We'll see how that works. So like it though. Finally might get to put this old thing in the water. All right y'all, so I couldn't stand it. I got to go put this little thing in the water. See how it's gonna work. All right, here we go. We're finna back her in the water first time. Alright y'all, we're going to see if we can crank it. Cody's filming. It's going to get stuck, Cody. I got to figure this thing out. I ain't never crunked this motor before. Alright, we think we got it figured out. I didn't have it in neutral. I thought it was. camera off till we get to running. Something ain't acting right. Alright y'all, we got her running. Let her warm up a little bit. Push this button here for throttle only. Alright y'all, we rolling. Taking it easy, trying to get used to this thing. A little shakier than the other boat. It's gonna be all right, y'all. All right, y'all, we made it out to the main channel. y'all so here's what's going on now I cut the motor off to uh, mess with the trim a little bit you gotta do it manually and it won't crank back up so we have got to paddle back to the trailer our boat has quit on us in the middle of the river it was doing good all right, I'm about to put this camera down where we can get back before dark. All right, y'all, we paddled uh, 
few hundred yards. I didn't realize, dumb mistake, I didn't realize the shutoff switch was on the tiller down here. I just pulled the choke to uh, cut it off. I don't know if I flooded it or what. I am tired. Paddling with a shovel. Well, we was headed home. We're going to try to ease on in now. All right, y'all, we made it back. I still ain't sure why this thing won't fire back up. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I wasn't going to put a battery in it because it does have electric start because it was so easy. It crunk so easy when I bought it. I don't know what's going on, but I am tomorrow, before I go back out, I am going to put a battery in it. Because I think it'd fire right up with uh, the electric start. I don't know. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. And then if I have to, I'll go back down to the boat gallery and talk to them. I'm sure it's something simple like the problem with the other boat this morning. Just a fuse. But this right here, I don't know. I don't know if it needs some adjustment on the... Yeah, I don't know what it needs. But anyway, I'm going to keep playing with it. I like how it handled. I mean, it went down the river good. Uh, I think I had to trim up just a little bit too high. And that's why I cut the engine off to let it down a little bit to see how that would do. Uh, I know now that you could adjust it with it running. I just thought it'd be a little safer to cut it off. But if you go somewhere and stop, you need to be able to crank back up. So we're going to get us a battery for it and play with it though. But I like it. I like it. Oh, I am. The trailer is a little too tight. See right there, I get a finger in it. I don't know if I could get a wider trailer. I got to burn some trash, but uh, it's a little tight, a lot tight to be pulling it down the road much, so I will probably get, uh, of course I don't like running without the fenders getting mud all over the boat. Uh, I'll probably get Rick, or I, I may look, I don't know. I'm going to widen it or something. The trailer part would be fine. I may get him to widen the axle a little bit or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out, but uh, I'm liking it. I'm going to be doing some uh, custom stuff to this too eventually. just want to play with it because there's going to be a case where I just want a little boat for to do cross the river or something and not necessarily get the big boat out. But between Mitt's big boat, the 20 foot, and our 18 low boat, and our little custom 10 and a half foot aluminum boat, we ought to have everything covered. But anyway, I'm about to call it a day. I pulled on this thing and paddled. I won't have to work out today. Anyway, we had a good time. Made it back safe. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.